back on your district follow these rules. If you are making love, it is imperative to bring all bodies to orgasm simultaneously. You will hear a distant hissing in your ears. You will feel dizzy. You will feel the need to vomit. There will be bleeding from orifices. There will be an ache in the pelvic region. Hawkwind, the space cadets of prom, on a 30-year ride across the cosmos, with a name picked from the astral ether. Well, sort of. The name came about by my sort of um, rather objectionable habits of um, of c coughing and spitting. He's always going <coughs> clearing his throat, hawking, and um, farting. Well, oh, farting as well, I believe. Yes. <laughs> But there is the, you know, sort of mystical word of better to be the hawk that flies over the forest than the uh, eagle that flies over the mountain. This is probably the only Hawkwind song you know, the one of the car advert. It's also the only hit of a career that's produced 120 albums and a world shortage of LSD. Everything in Oakland was drug related. I mean, when we relaxed, that was drug related too, right? LSD was the new drug, the in vogue drug at the time. Of course, we used to take it, experiment with it and all that. We used to play on it, you know. I mean, we had terrible things happening to us when we played. Well, Dave Brock always used to think he'd bitten his tongue off when he was on acid. All the audiences were like skeletons and things were melting. They had this big red bandana as a handkerchief and he'd get it out and think it was soaked in blood, see? Drugs, flatulence and a hairy bass player. What madness next? Ah! an Amazonian fertility goddess. I think I met Stacia at the Isle of Wight festival. She'd said that she'd always wanted to be a dancer, and I thought, well, that sounds good. She's about six foot two, you know, much too big. I introduced her to the band. I said, this great girl who wants to dance. And they say, oh, well, how about if she dances naked? You went to see Hawkwind because Stasha took her clothes off. And when that top came up, she was a big gal. It was just about the first dawn of lap dancing, was Hawkwind. So, everyone was off the tits, but was it prog? Ah. Oh. Second album, In Search of Space, which is um, a concept album about uh, space travellers who land on Earth and become two-dimensional, and they become this piece of vinyl. After two-dimensional aliens, things got really bizarre. They wrote a hit single, but being Hawkwind, they had no-one to sing it. They tried everybody else, and when nobody else could do it, they, they finally reluctantly let me try it. And I did it in three takes, and it went to number two. <laughs> which pissed them off even worse, you know. It looked like the Hawks were on the cosmic highway to success, but their next interstellar idea blew it, literally. I had the bomb squad round tearing up my floorboards <laughs> because we were thought to be dissidents, um, you know, and, and dangerous. Lead singer Bob Calvert had written a follow-up single called Urban Gorilla, released during an IRA bombing campaign. Genius! And so consequently it was withdrawn from the market because of the, the bombing. And, uh, and everything plummeted then, you know. In 1975, things went from bad to worse. Lemmy was arrested on the Canadian border for the possession of drugs, which earned him more than just a telling off. The only reason they got me out of jail was because my replacement couldn't show up early enough. <laughs> he got delayed, so they got me out of jail, and, you know, after all that. Flew me up to Toronto. He went on stage, great show, four o'clock in the morning, fired. The lesson? People in glass houses shouldn't get stoned. Still, Lemmy wasn't the only one to leave. Having helped them surf the new wave, Bob Calvert left in 1979. But the band ploughed on as free festival favourites, the house band at Henge and darlings of the Druids. And we could see the Druids coming in, you know, you know, you know big on the horn, you know. The 
guy who plays Ken Barlow on Coronation Street was actually the arch druid at the time. We started ch chanting this mantra. Ken Balu, Ken Balo, Ken Balo, <laughs> Ken Balu, Ken Balu. <laughs> it was just for a joke, really. Like Ken Balo, Hawkwind won't go away, and like Cory, they're enjoying an anniversary. 30 years celebrated with orchestra music and traditional libations and feasting. Can I interest you in a hash <laughs> Previous members of the band are all playing tonight. Dave Brock on guitar, Nick Turner on wind, Lemmy on bass, and on breasts, Sam Fox. No, really. Better to be the hawk that flies over the forest than the eagle that flies over the mountain. Right on, mate.